Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter. I have an unbagging today. Uh, this one is one that I have mentioned in one of my previous videos or whipping chats. Um, and it said that uh, I lost the tracking on it and contacted the company, um, which was Tend Me Arts on Amazon. And for whatever reason, they ended up sending a different one or a new one. So, um, I believe that that's what this is. I could be 100% wrong, but the tracking number on it looks similar or something. So, I think that's what this is. If it's not, then we'll find out what it is together. But, I fell in love with this canvas. Oh, wow. It's a little smushed up. Uh, but, I hope it's okay. I'm sure it is. Um, but I fell in love with this canvas when I seen it. I mean, when I saw it, I was like, mm, my goodness, I haven't seen anything like that. So I was like, I have to have that because it's right up my alley. And it's super cute. Got some creases I can see here. Yeah, I can tell it's Tin Me Arts because Tin Me Arts has that soft, um, felted feeling on the back of their canvas, but I mean, look at that. That's kind of yuck. Yikes. Yeah, it kind of like wants to suck back in there. I might have to iron this or something if I can't get it to lay flat. Um, but let's pull these drills are in there tight, man. Tight as a tick. Come on. Oops, sorry. Wow. Okay. Well, let's just unroll it out then. Oopsie. I think that was a toolkit that fell on the floor. Here's some drills. Yes, it was the toolkit. Let me see if I can pick it up with my toes. <laughs> okay, hang on. Okay, toolkit. So, we got a boat, big plate of wax, a pen, and plastic tweezers that are junky tweezers, and then some baggies. And then we have our pretty little drills. This is a round diamond painting kit. Um, I think with Tenmi Arts, these little bags are like individual. They're not like lumped together like a wagon train or whatever you want to call it. But let me roll this canvas backwards. Oh my gosh, I can already tell it is super stinking cute. Hold on just a second, guys. So cute. It's got a want to have a lot of color blocking too. Um, I really like Tin Me Arts canvases um, and their drills are pretty, always pretty good. Um, but, This one is a little smushed, but I think it'll be okay. Like I said, I think it will be okay. It's poured glue, so that's good. But take a look at this. Oh my gosh, you can't see it. Let me move this stuff out of the way. It's little Christmas gnomes. Oh my God, right? How cute is that? Oh my God, I love it. Let me move some of these things out of the way so that you guys can see it better. I have stuff here that I need to move. Okay, here we go. There, now I've got it all, I think. It's not 100% in frame, but it's a square, not a square. They're round drills, but this is a 50 by 40 centimeter. Um, so, you know, it's kind of a square shaped canvas almost. Um, but yeah, super cute. I mean, look at these little gnomes. Look at those guys. They're so cute. Um, I got this one for Christmas. I actually ordered this early, I think in, 
can't remember if I ordered it in June or July, but I ordered this one for the Fall Out Line to July event, um, and then it didn't get here in time. So, um, but yeah, I love it. I love little gnomes like this anyway. Like, if you see like the little, like, crap, like my sister had actually made some little gnomes um, for Christmas last year. They were so cute. Um, but yeah, I love it. Look at their little faces. Oh, their hats and their big old long beards and their feet. This one's got a lantern. This one has, looks like a gift. And this one has, looks like nothing. Unless he's holding a snowball. I don't know. Um, let's see. Here's the thumbnail image. Yeah, that middle gnome isn't holding anything. They've just got their arms linked together. But is that not the cutest? That is so cute. It's a 50 by 40. It is Tin Me Arts. Um, it's a poured glue canvas. This one has a color chart on the top and one on the bottom. Um, let's see, it's got 28 colors. Yep, yeah, 20, 28 colors, and it looks like there are no ABs, so I could put some sparklers in this. I actually got some sparklers. Uh, I might do that. Have to figure out where to put them. I think they would be cute, maybe in their little boots um, here throughout their beard. So yeah, I'm thinking sparklers might look cute in their boots. Maybe in some of the like black, darker part of their gloves. Um, maybe in his hat and like the outline of these hats. Here, just here and there. I wouldn't like cover the entire thing with sparklers, but. So anyway, let's look really quickly at this drill field. Um, so when you pull the canvas back, you can tell that Tin Me Arts they're, they remind me a little bit of Diamond Art Club in that their canvas sparkles and the glue actually sparkles too. Let me pull you down here so you can see. Sorry about the flash. Uh, but yeah, you can see the sparkle in that, super sparkly. And you can see that the drill field, the symbol clarity is really, really good. Clear as a bell. So let's take a look. Uh, also, let's see how sticky. Yep, it's sticky. Okay. Sticky, 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 sticky. Um, I'm not gonna pull these drills out of their little container or out of the bag just because. Let me see if I can find where it opens. Here we go. I'm not gonna pull them out of the bag because they're not in a train. Their bags come individually like this. So, but you can see there are no ABs in this one, as I mentioned, but you can see um, the pretty reds and pinks, oops, and grays and creams. And yeah, there's a lot of different shades there that are really pretty. It's gonna have a lot. I mean, you can see all the color blocking and the background is mostly uh, that is 3865, which is, uh, this color here. Their drills are really good quality. I've never really had much issues with their drills. So, yeah, lots and lots of pretty colors. And I am super excited. Um... It's a smaller painting, so I would consider this one a little bit bigger than a snack size for me. Like a 30 by 40 is more of a snack size. This is a 40 or 50 by 40. So, um, but I definitely think this will be a sweet one to hang up for Christmas. You know, this would be really cute. Like, um, I'm trying to think. Even, I think it would be cute. Like, if you could weatherproof it, like behind a frame or something. Um... This would be a cute one to like hang on your front porch, like by your door, you know, or like in your entryway inside your door. Um, that would be cute. It's just welcoming and happy and Christmassy. 
and I love it. And I know me, I love Christmas stuff, so this will probably stay up most of the year. <laughs> oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. But I'm going to try to get these wrinkles out um, just where it was shipped and all kind of bent up. Um, I'll lay it under something flat, like my mattress or something, and see if I can get it to flatten out a little bit. But I think it's going to be just fine. And um, I'll, I don't know when I'll be kitting this up. It won't be too, too soon because I have some things coming up. But I definitely do want to do it for Christmas. So that is the plan, man. All right. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you don't like Christmas and happy and and long bearded gnomes, then go ahead and give it a thumbs down. That's okay too. So uh, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, ding, 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 to get notified the next time I upload another video with some cute stuff. And you guys have a great rest of the day and I will talk to you soon. Really? <laughs> hey, 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 guys. Welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter. So, Jolie is being my little uh, not happy assistant at the moment. What? You want, all the, you want all the goodies for yourself? Yeah. Okay. We'll try this again here in just a second.